Welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyakilome, Sunday 29th, November 2020. Have a praise party. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy, endureth forever. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21. One of the ways to activate the power of God is worship. Throughout the scripture, we find inspiring accounts of how God delivered his people from destruction and their situations when they activated his power in praise and worship. A good example is when three nations, Ammon, Moab, and Marseille, came against Judah. King Jehoshaphat, by the wisdom of God, gathered all Judah to seek the Lord in prayer and fasting. When they prayed, God revealed to them the exact location of the enemy's camp and gave them the strategy to defeat them. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22 says, When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Matseir which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. When you face daunting challenges, don't panic or fret. Worship the Lord instead, like Jehoshaphat. Have a praise heart. Don't wait until you feel like singing before making melodies in your heart, singing praises unto the Lord. Whether you are happy or not, praise Him all the same. Worship Him and give Him glory. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Recall Paul and Silas for preaching the gospel. They were tortured and incarcerated in a Roman prison. But at midnight they prayed and sang praises unto God. And as they did, the power of God was activated and they were supernaturally set free. As chapter 16, verse 25 to 26. This miraculous encounter led to the salvation of the prison warden with his entire family. You may be faced with a difficult situation today for which you have prayed and confessed that is all working out for your good, yet nothing seems to have changed. Don't give up worship and praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Prayer Heavenly Father, I praise your name and worship your majesty, for you are the healer, the provider, the supplier of all good things, and you are greater than all. I praise and adore you, for you are great and greatly to be praised. Thank you for granting me power over crisis and the grace to prevail always over circumstances. In Jesus' name, Amen. Further study Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. Psalm 107, verse 31. Psalm 145, verse 1 to 6. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your prophecy may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.